any questions throughout, don't hesitate to ask us. Okay. Um, and you know, we're going to go through practice passages and everything. And which university is this? It's the University of New England. So my name is Jennifer Stiegler Balfour, and I'm an assistant professor in the psychology department. And I've been at UNE for four years. I have several students working with me on my research projects. And my research typically focuses on studying memory and in particular reading comprehension. And in the past, we've always worked with a college population. But this past year, we've wanted to take it one step further and look at how reading comprehension is influenced by the aging process. So we have actually been working on a project looking at an older population, so individuals that are 65 and older, administering a reading comprehension task on a computer and then also administering the MOCA, the Montreal Cognitive Assessment Test, that determines if there's been any cognitive decline. Ready? Frost. Fig. Fancy. The goal of the study is that we would identify factors that influence reading comprehension and how aging impacts reading comprehension and then to ultimately come up with ways that we can actually help individuals with cognitive decline um, enjoy reading longer. We wanted to have OT students also involved because they're interested in research and aging. And it is interesting to think about reading comprehension and how it changes with age. I think these outside experiences really help you gain that extra knowledge so that when you're in the real world and you have to be in this situation, for example, if you are working with an elderly individual, you'll know that, okay, like I remember a couple years ago, I worked with an elderly person, so I have that extra knowledge and extra experience that maybe others do not have. Five to A, A to B, B to C, D, E. Do you speak any other languages besides English? No. Getting this experience that I will need in my um, in graduate school has just been phenomenal. I'm really learning the nuances of research and understanding the methodology and some things that some researchers don't consider or some students don't consider for that matter, you know, what it takes, how long it takes to administer studies and just like, you know, all the specifics that they don't really tell you in textbooks.